In a microservices architecture, communication between services is key to the system's success. But how do you choose the right tool for the job when making HTTP requests? Should you use REST template or Fane client? And what about when communicating with services within your organization versus those developed by external teams? In this video, we'll break down when to use each, how they work, and why the choice matters. Let's start with REST template. This is a traditional HTTP client in Spring applications, allowing you to make synchronous HTTP requests. You can use it to communicate between your microservices or even with external services. With REST template, you control the entire request process, headers, request body, response handling, and error management. It's very flexible, but requires a bit more boilerplate code, such as defining custom error handling and logging. This flexibility makes REST template a good choice when you need full control over the request response lifecycle, like when calling external APIs where you can't rely on standard conventions or when you need to manage specific security protocols or timeouts. Next up is Fane Client. This is a declarative HTTP client, which allows you to abstract away much of the boilerplate code. With Fane, you define an interface, and Fane automatically generates the HTTP request for you. You can use annotations to configure HTTP requests, making it much cleaner and more concise compared to REST template. Fane integrates seamlessly with Spring Cloud for features like load balancing and service discovery, especially when using tools like Eureka. This makes Fane a great choice when working within a Spring-based microservices ecosystem, where services are registered with a service discovery tool and you want to minimize configuration and boilerplate code. Now, when should you use REST template? Here are a few scenarios. Custom logic. When you need fine-grained control over request headers, timeouts, retrees, and other low-level details. External APIs. When interacting with downstream services or external APIs that you don't control. They might have specific authentication schemes, error codes, or rate-limiting rules that require a custom solution. Legacy systems. If you're integrating with older systems or libraries that expect more configuration and customization than Fane can handle. In these cases, REST template gives you the flexibility and control needed to handle more complex interactions. Now let's talk about Fane client. Fane shines in these situations. Internal microservices communication. When you're communicating with other services within your own organization or system, especially when using Spring Cloud and service discovery tools like Eureka or Consul, Fane integrates seamlessly here. Simplified development. When you want to minimize boilerplate code and focus on business logic, Fane abstracts away HTTP communication, so you don't need to manually configure or manage HTTP requests. Load balancing and fault tolerance. Fane integrates well with Spring Cloud's ribbon and Hystrix, giving you easy access to client-side load balancing and fault tolerance out of the box. It's ideal when you have well-defined, predictable APIs and when the communication between services is internal and relatively stable. But what if you're communicating with external services or services developed by other teams? This is where things get a bit different. For external services, especially ones outside your control, you might prefer REST template. Why? Because external APIs often have unique requirements. Authentication schemes like OAuth, specific error handling needs, or rate-limiting policies that require more customization than Fane offers out of the box. However, if the external team has standardized their APIs with good documentation and consistent conventions, and you're using Spring Cloud or have a service discovery mechanism, Fane can still be a good option. But in most cases, when dealing with external teams or third-party APIs, REST template will give you the flexibility and control needed. To sum it up, here's a quick comparison. 
use REST template when you need more control, customization, or are interacting with external APIs or legacy systems. Use Fane Client for internal communication, especially in a Spring Cloud environment with service discovery and when you want to minimize boilerplate code.